This is Thurman with Burnley Farm Apiary. Uh, we're going to be checking out a hive that seems to be a couple of years old. That's what the homeowner said. It's um, sitting up here in the soffit. You can see up here. So, let me have the camera. I'm going to. Okay. So, it's up here in the soffit. I've just taken off a piece of corn around. I don't normally do extractions. A fellow beekeeper, a friend of mine, he's the one who does them. But we're going to give this a look see. So that's the entrance they're going in. We've already found a bunch of them inside the attic. And I just pulled that board off, and you can see they're coming down. So I'm thinking that they're sitting up inside of the soffit right here. I'm hoping when I pull this board off, we'll be able to see more. So I'm going to get to it and we'll see what we've got all right so here it is we've taken the soffit off as you can see there's a lot of comb up underneath there all the bees are mainly in this section they're not very happy with me they're really upset but that's to be expected i just tore the floorboard out of their hive so you can see this is where all their honey is so it's separated by that board right there so it's going to be a bit of a mess getting these out you could tell that it looks like these girls are ready to swarm so we'll see how it's going it is June 2nd right now it's kind of late in the season but since they have their own comb it's going to help a lot all right so I'm gonna get so I've pulled off just a just the very first comb you can see it's loaded with honey. I'm going to let my kids have a bite who are helping me getting stung. And I'm going to give it to the homeowners. So I got my bee vac with me. Got the whole component set up, but I don't have enough hose to actually reach all the way up there. So I'm going to have to cut it down little bit by little bit. And hopefully I'll be able to find the queen. All right. All right, well, I've been up there and... Um, the bees are really unhappy. We had a rainstorm come in. It's still coming down on me. I'm now soaked. As you can see, all the bee stings, all the stingers that are stuck in my gloves, they're all in my suit. These girls really are not happy with me being here. Um, in this way. Hold on. So, pause it. Yeah. Don't worry about the bait. So this is one of the older cones. I was pulled out. You can see it's empty. It's got it's got a little brood on it, but not enough to worry about. This was also come here. This was also closer towards the back. Come around. This was towards the back of the house. Um, homeowner said that some years ago, it was it was sprayed. Uh, three years ago, it was sprayed, but they killed all the bees then. But since then, they're They've started back up and everything's doing good and my cameraman is antsy right now. That's why this film is all over the place. So this is the one that's close to the wall. We're not going to keep this, this comb at all. Oh, let me show you over here. I've been taking the comb out. I've been putting it in the basket over here. As you can see, there's quite a bit. Nice, thick. Lots of honey in there. Honey's just pouring out. Rain's causing everybody to be upset right now. So let's run you up top real fast and we'll get you a look. The bees are majorly unhappy. But we have pulled all that out all the way back. Now this whole side seems to be filled with nothing but honey, honeycomb. I'm getting ready to get into all this right here. This has got the main colony of bees with all the brood. It's going to be a little bit harder to get all that out. See they're hanging out on the outside. They're not happy. So I wish I could film this the whole time I'm doing it. But I'm not going to be able to. As I said, these, these are really pissy bees. They're very upset about me being in here. So, I'm going to cut you off for right now, and I'll turn it back on a little bit. Really, 
So yesterday, we got rained out. I was here for about three hours. I was soaking wet. It was getting pretty miserable. The bees were unhappy. I was able to come up here and put my bee vac up on top of the roof, and I was able to suck in most of them. I'm getting ready to hook it back up. Um, you can see that there's a lot of yellow jackets that have come into the area. So, I left everything up here for the night, closed in. They have a small opening that they can go in and out of. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to come back in here. We're going to look up in there. And I'm going to suck the rest of these bees up. Then I'm going to finish. I think I might have to go on the inside and tear apart some of um, some wall up inside of there just to get some of the comb that's gone down behind the brick. And then I think we're going to call it a day. So I'll be back in a little bit. So the vacuum's working now. What it does is the shop vac hooks up into the top of this. Okay, it's got two holes. One regulates air right there. And this one is where it plugs in and the vacuum comes. The second piece right here has a screen on it that goes across so that no bees can get sucked up into the top. They get sucked directly into the hive boxes and then I have the hose coming out of the bottom which has a small ramp that goes up and puts everybody on the inside. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start pulling, trying to pull in the rest of these bees and we're going to go from there. So when I left yesterday we had some comb and a lot of dripping honey and so it kind of started a big frenzy. See a lot of yellow jackets are out here too. So they wanted to start all the robbing that they could. You know, these bees kind of lost everything. We're heading up top right now. Ugh. So it's about 9.30 in the morning. Going way up this ladder. Ugh. Let's see what we're looking at. So most of the bees that were... See, they get sucked in. It's not too hard on them, doesn't kill them. They're not too happy. It takes a while. I had um, approximately, I don't know, 15, maybe 15,000 bees total. I think I'm going to need to go on the inside, as I said, and tear apart some wall. It's back up in there because it, uh, let's see if I can get this in there. It goes down behind it. Same thing over here. And it comes down. Let's see if we can get a good look in there. So I'm going to get the rest of these bees. I'm going to suck a lot of these girls up. Hopefully I'll get the queen. I haven't seen her yet, but then again, I am still new to all this. So I don't always see my queen. So I got to go easy right here. See how they're bearding up? I got to go easy, otherwise it clogs my hose up. I have learned that you can't go terribly fast with these. So it's, um, we're about 20 feet up, as you can see, we're about 20 foot up on this ladder. I've gotten most of them, there's still a bunch on the inside, I'm still collecting them. I've been doing this for, I don't know, about 10 minutes now, 
not a really long time this morning but it is it's going to get up into the 80s today and um, I'm already sweating I haven't been up here 10 minutes yet I want to do this as quick as possible help the homeowners out Still feeling bees that I'm getting. I can't see them. I'm just kind of moving this around on the inside. So I'm going to keep at it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep at it. A little bit more difficult than I thought. This is my first extraction ever. So I wouldn't recommend it to everybody out there. But it's not bad. I mean, if you don't mind heights and, you know, stinging insects that are after you, it's not too bad. I like it. So we're heading up into the attic. Oop. You see there's dead bees on here from years ago on the floor <clears throat> we're going right back there I need to look and see if there's yeah there's a hole right there I don't know if you can see it let me see here So there's a hole right there that they were coming out and coming to the inside and my guess is that's where the exterminator years ago sprayed these girls. You can see dead bees. But these bees have been dead. The homeowner assured me that this was this happened three years ago. And uh there's some comb up behind this wall here, and I'm thinking I might have to cut it out. I really don't want to, but until I can get a good look at what's back there, it could always be patched. So, we're going to take a look. I don't see anything up there. That's brick. All right, so I'm gonna get into it and see what I can see. So I've come back outside. There wasn't too much that I could do on the inside, inside the attic. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. Um, I took I took the board off and looked inside. There really wasn't anything much in there. I took what I can get out, and the few bees that were in there started tagging me. Uh, it was so hot that I had my veil and gloves and everything off, but one hit me. And so I've come back out here, I'm going to close everything up and I'm going to take it home because at this point I've got more yellow jackets flying around than I have honeybees. So the homeowners are going to leave this open for a while, let everybody do their robbing out and then they're going to uh, treat it and seal everything up. So my next step from here is to take these girls home and put them in the yard somewhere. I think I'm going to put them in a different place than my normal apiary. I think I'm going to put them in the front yard just away from my other bees. And we got tagged quite a few times. We got tagged quite a few times from um, these bees. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the queen if I can find her. And put a new queen in there because I can't have a bunch of pissy bees. That's just no fun at all. So... We'll see you back at the apiary later. So we brought them to my house. And I stuck them in my front yard because I don't want to put them anywhere near my other apiary. See, we've opened up the front. I'm going to go into the truck and I'm going to put the top on them right now. It's still part of the back. But you can see them down inside there. A couple of dead ones. Most of them are alive underneath. They're doing good. Um, I don't want to get too close. 
I don't know if I've got the queen, but at this point I don't care because I'm going to re be replacing the queen. Yeah, I'm hiding in my truck like a coward. <laughs> that is a mean colony. That guy took off after me, started headbutting me like crazy, followed me in the truck, gave me a little a light tag before I was able to get him out. I still got to run out there and put the uh, <laughs> I got to put the top on it. Um, I'm not too happy about that. They are they they don't like me at all. <laughs> got to replace that queen as soon as possible. Okay, so um, hiding from my truck. This is Thurman from Burnley Farm Apiary. Y'all take care. <laughs>